here at Lenaro Connect in Orlando, Florida, and I'm with Zach Pfeffer. Zach, you're the Lenaro Android Tech Lead. Exactly what do you do for Lenaro? Yeah, so what I do is I lead the I lead the Android uh, the Android group at Lenaro, and we're tasked with getting Android builds out the door every month for each one of our members' boards. Those Android builds typically contain the latest and greatest open source components, such as GCC 4.6, the latest up-to-date kernel. By doing this, we're able to take AOSP and the latest AOSP that's available. Currently, we're upgrading from our last 235 to 237 AOSP, um, and we're doing that here at Connect in our hacking sessions. By tracking the, by releasing these builds every month, we keep a cadence. We try to make the builds as easy as possible to use. So by going to lenaro.org, you're able to link to our Android-Build website, which contains all of our builds that you can actually download and try out extremely efficiently. We make it a point so that, we make it a point to ensure that you need the least number of steps to get up and running on all of our member boards. And we also ensure that when you download the components and you download these pre-built builds that you can also build these builds locally. So that's essentially it. We also ensure that each build is as efficient as possible. So we enable, um, since we're on 4.6 with uh, AOSP uh, 2.3.5, we're able to enable some efficiencies that, that the GCC 4.6 compiler from Lenaro actually enable. Um, so uh, strict aliasing, um, we have uh, uh, various graphite options turned on, and the biggest, of course, is Dash 03, which allows um, Android to take advantage of the up and coming, um, up and coming uh, efficiencies that we should see across the Linux spectrum. And so by doing this and having an upgraded kernel and having an upgraded tool chain, we feel that these builds allow our members to actually get a preview of what Google may release in the future. So we don't know what they'll release, but we figure that they'll have upgraded various components and we think that um, the components that we're releasing uh, will be those upgraded components. It's very exciting to see what you guys are doing it's across the board for Lenaro. It's even more exciting as an Android user and I guess fan of, of Android to see well, you know, what you and your team are doing. Here at Lenaro Connect there's many sessions every day. What sessions have you and your team led? So we've had a, we have about a, we have a pretty full load. Um, We've led sessions pretty much each morning and then we have hacking sessions in the afternoon where we take the results from the sessions and are able to try things out quickly. One of those sessions has been Device Tree. So Device Tree is the, it's the way in which we will be able to go from our current state in ARM where you need to custom, custom compile each kernel for each architecture to a place where you can compile one image and using the device tree machine description that gets passed into the kernel, that kernel can then read that device, that, that description and boot up. What that does is that that allows us, when, it finally, when we finally finish the work and what we did here at Connect was actually bring the stakeholders together to plan out how we're going to deliver device tree in our Android builds over the next three months. What that allows us to do is, is go from our current state where we have uh, a discrete kernel for each board to we have one kernel for each board. And when we get there, that'll open a whole range of possibilities. Um, we, hope that, we hope that people can then spend even more time you know, fixing and, and bringing together those things that those things in the ARM ecosystem, the eighty I two C implementations, and bring those I two C implementations into one implementation. Um, 
co-located code tends to tends to get refactored easier, and and so we feel like this these these single kernels will be just infinitely useful, and and should actually get us to the standard platform that most of the x86 developers have enjoyed for the last 20 years. You mentioned a, a little bit about bringing all the stakeholders together here at Lenaro Connect. Can you talk a little bit about that open collaboration between what your team does and, and what your partners do in regards to Android? Absolutely. So most of our partners are very interested in Android for a variety of reasons. In a, lot of, in a lot of cases, our partners are focusing on getting products out the door. They are focusing on ensuring that they can meet those market windows, that they can get the product into the pipe in time for Christmas, in time for Father's Day. That singular focus is exactly what they need to do. It makes them successful, it makes their chips successful, but there's some work that isn't getting done. And the work that isn't getting done is upstreaming patches, bringing kernels together, refactoring functionality, making sure that the kernel can support ARM now and in the future as these new, as these new SOCs come on board, as we, as we move into a world where ARM and x86 will sit at parity with one another. So it becomes extremely important to, to do that work and to do that work in a, in a, in a venue like uh, LDS and UDS where we can bring people together and we can talk about upstreaming outside of the product cycle. And then what we can do is as the product cycles of each of our vendors end and they kind of have that time to reflect, well then we can share what we've done. And in fact, when they go to start that new product cycle on that new kernel, then Lenaro's already upgraded them. We're already, we're already there. And so they're able to shorten that product window um, by, because of the work that Lenaro and the members have done together. So we don't work in a vacuum, they don't work in a vacuum. We're all trying, trying to get to the same goal. And so, you know, you can kind of consider Lenaro, for lack of a better term, as the upstream house. <laughs> and, um, and you can see, you know, our kernel contributions and, and the people that, that tend to work in, in Lenaro, you know, that, that's our focus and that's why it's our focus. So. so, because it is an exciting focus and an exciting time for people on the, for lack again, lack of a better term, on the outside of the fishbowl, you know, they're looking in, they want to be part of it, they want to be, you know, swimming in the same circles as you guys are swimming in. How do developers get involved with your team and, and Android at Lenaro? Well, we've got the official ways. Lenaro.org is, is, great, is a great portal to the world of, 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 of Lenaro and how to contribute. Off of Lenaro.org you have our IRC channels. So we spend a lot of time on IRC. There is a Lenaro Android member on the hash Lenaro Android channel 24 hours a day. We have, and we're able to do that because we have people working in every single country in the world, in every single time zone in the world. That also allows you to have a local point of contact. If you're in Beijing, we have Bo Tao Sun who can, who can, who can, is there in, in Beijing. Um, if you're in um, if you're in Hyderabad, we've got uh, Vishal Bog, who can who can provide who is there in, in India. Um, I'm in uh, Texas, so <laughs> any any Android Texans that want to talk talk to me, I can talk to them talk to them directly. Um, apart from the the channel, we also have our Lenaro Android mailing list. We have Lenaro Dev dash Dev that people are able to post. Um, post questions on and heck I'll even take a phone call <laughs> my goal is to get people over that first hump to when they come when they when they when they see oh there's this great Lenaro build we have a variety of, of ways that we've communicated on how to how to get started 
You know, once you find and, and you look at it, when you actually go to look at a build, we've made great pains to actually make sure that the instructions that you need to use are co-located with the build that you're using. So you're able to cop literally copy and paste a set of five commands into your, into your browser with an SD card, take the SD card out, plug it into your unit, and you're running Android. In seven commands, you can build the whole thing from source. That's the whole platform. Soup to nuts. So, I, I tell you, it, the fact that you've made it that, you've, you've lowered the barrier without lowering the standard for these developers, that, that's exciting. Ac across the board, no matter how you want to look at it. Is there anything else that I haven't asked you about that you would like to tell viewers about? Well, I'd kind of, I've kind of said this before, but I'd like to reiterate. One of our goals at, at Lennar and in, in the Lennar Android team is to make it as easy as possible to use these platforms. And when you look at the current state of, of Android development, it's people develop on phones, they develop on hardware, they develop on whatever they've got. At Lenara, we're trying to create a platform that people can more easily develop on. Standard platform using low-cost boards. And everyone from a kernel hacker to somebody that's writing the next Angry Birds can use a Lenara platform easily and efficiently to do their work. And so we're trying to be that, we're trying to be that SDK that doesn't, that, or not SDK, that development platform that up until now has been been your phone. You can now have a more embedded platform. Um, you can take GPIOs out, play with those, and this has a, a range of opportunities. You can hack in the platform code. You know, you can re recompile the entire platform code, and so you can write a lib and test it out directly. You don't have to root your phone. You don't have to run Cyanogen mod. You can, of course. Some we would love, you know. We promote all usages of Android, but we feel like there's this there's this giant hole of this standard platform that gets that gets released every month that people can really use to accelerate their Android development. Well, and I've said it, I think, in every Lenaro interview that I've done at, at Lenaro Connect this time, it's exciting, and so I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys do in the next cycle the next year and beyond to see where you've come, where you're going. Um, it's an exciting time to follow you all. And so Zach, thank you so much for sitting down and talking to me and look forward to uh, seeing how you guys meet the challenges based uh, in these next cycles. Thank you.